What's going on, guys? This is not your ordinary guy. No, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen, Bunch of Crunch Army. Man, where you at, man? If you're not subbed, yo, come on, man. Be a part of the Bunch of Crunch Army. So welcome back to another video of Bunch of Crunch Army. In today's video, we got a really good one in store for you guys. I'm so excited. And make sure you connect with me on my Insta, man, at Your Motivation Guy. Because today, we're going to be going over a list of mistakes that you, yes, you, yeah, I'm looking at you, right? Yeah. <laughs> You're probably making in a lot of fights, all right? And I'm going to teach you guys how to fix them. Now, we've made videos similar to this one in the past, you know, but they've usually been about general mistakes, right? But we know, we get it, especially in this WK meta, that most players are having issues consistently winning fights. Is that you? Come on now, let's be real. Which is why we're going to focus solely on how you can win more fights. That's why you're watching Pro Guys. That's why you're watching Your Motivation Guy. Come on, we want to win more fights. And also, remember that if you're looking to improve, like, fast at Fortnite, <laughs> your best move is to check out ProGuys.com, where we have a variety of awesome courses, live classes, and 24-7 on-demand coaching to help you guys improve all in one place. And last thing, man, before we start, let's quickly do the question of the day. Today, I've got to ask you this, all right? Since LTM seem to be back in Fortnite, what is your favorite LTM in Fortnite and why? Let me know yours down in the comments. And uh, before we get into this video, <laughs> bunch of crunch army, it's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. Let's say it together. What is that? It's that bunch of crunch Woo. and let's get this going so the first mistake and one i see a lot of like intermediate players make way too often is being too passive in fights and letting their opponent control pretty much every aspect of the engagement guys i cannot stress this enough how important it is to be aggressive in fights even if your opponent manages to get the jump on you first it's absolutely crucial that you don't give them the free reign over the entire fight. Too many players do this, letting their opponent get easy high ground, push their box, spray them, and they don't even get anywhere in the fight, either cracking under the pressure or just by just getting outplayed. The biggest thing about being passive in fights is the mental game. When you give your opponent that control, it makes them confident, right? And it makes you feel more nervous. Along with the fact that 90% of the time that it's easier to win the fight if you're the aggressor, as opposed to being passive, you know, inside the box. Avoiding this mistake ultimately comes down to two things, all right? You can either focus on being the aggressor early in the fight, especially if you manage to see your opponent first, or take control when your opponent tries to make a play, like dropping down to push your box. Whichever way you decide to do it, just make sure that you're not hiding from your opponent or playing too passive when you're in a fight. The second huge mistake that probably 99% of players make is taking 50-50 fights. And I'm also talking to myself. A 50-50 is essentially any edit or play that gives you and your opponent both a super easy angle to get a kill. One example of 50-50 is if a player is pushing your box, right? And you simply edit out, run towards them, and hope for the best. <laughs> Oftentimes, the situation is going to get you eliminated like ASAP. Regardless of like how fast you actually perform the edit, simply due to the fact that your play was predictable. In Fortnite, especially with how good most players are now, they're usually going to be able to predict if you're making a 50-50 edit. And typically, that 50-50 turns straight into, say, a 90-10 in their favor. As a general rule, let me say this. You never want to put yourself in a situation where you don't have an advantage. Whew, so important. Now, if you have 200 HP and your opponent has 100, it's sometimes a realistic idea to just jump on them, right? But not if you don't already have an advantage. Instead, go for intelligent edits and smart peaks and really give yourself an advantage in the fight. All right, moving on to mistake number three, we've got poor covering from third parties. This is a mistake I see like way too often, <laughs> and it's definitely an important one to include in this video, so we gotta do it. My friends, Bunch of Crunch Army, especially in Fortnite, especially in competitive, third parties are all over the place, waiting to spot their next fight, and way too many of you guys fail to realize this and end up getting shot in the back during the fight. The solution to this problem is really as simple as just blocking your sides off while you're in a fight, or at least doing so, you know, the best of your ability. The small usage of materials is the easiest way to pretty much guarantee you won't get hit by a third party. You know, it could even give you an edge in fights as well. 
Think about it like this, all right? If you're looking at a fight and one player is covered up and one isn't, you're gonna shoot at the one who isn't, right? So if you're covered up and your opponent is in the open, they can easily get shot at, making it you know, easier for you to just clean them up or disengage if you don't wanna deal with the third party situation. Regardless of your play style, covering yourself while pushing is a no brainer. And I seriously recommend you start practicing this if you really don't do this a lot, all right? Now, if you're not considering checking out our website, let me tell you this, we provide the best training regime, right? Unmatched by anyone else. We have VOD analyst reviews, pro one-on-one coaching, live interactive classes, meta updates, and so much more. And we got your motivation class that is on Wednesdays and Fridays that is going down, 12 p.m. PST. Check me out, we gotta change the mentality. All right, guys, fourth up, we've got the most deadly mistakes, which is forgetting to hell up when you take heavy damage. Now, this is mostly a mistake seen in more beginner level players, but it definitely does happen to higher level players as well. All right, most of the time, if you take some heavy damage from an opponent and they take you down to low HP, then you're gonna try to heal up before you continue the fight, right? That's an obvious yes, but the issue is a lot of players seem to forget in the moment that they need to heal up and continue trying to W key, even if they're at a disadvantage. And as you might expect, this mistake often leads to an unfortunate death. Luckily, if you do this, there are a few steps that you can do to avoid making this mistake and actually win more fights. The first step is to carry fast heals like minis, chug splashes, and fish. So it's just easier for you just to pop your heals and you don't have to focus too hard on doing it. The second step that might help you with this issue is carrying heals in creative 1v1s. While focusing on playing smart and healing when necessary, because this is gonna get that muscle memory and instinct into your head and just make it much easier in the future for you to heal up, you know, instead of just W King like a maniac. <laughs> and the final thing that you can do to fix this is really to simply remind yourself while you're fighting, especially if you're on low HP. Overall, this mistake definitely is a brutal one. But if you focus on it properly and you do those three techniques, you should be able to fix this issue, guys. All right, finally, our last mistake is one that is most common that you're gonna see in almost every type of player, and that's using weak materials for cover, especially when they're being pressured. You know, what most players do when they're being pushed is they usually box up or build up. Or if they get hit first, they'll typically stay back in their builds and just heal. But the issue is this, man. Most players use wood for this, which makes them a much easier target. Obviously, as you guys probably know, wood is the weakest material and it takes far less time, you know, than brick or metal to break. Luckily, similar to many mistakes in Fortnite, the easiest way to fix this mistake is to just simply focus on it while you're in game. You know, you could even write it down on a sticky note and attach it to your monitor, like whatever will help you, okay? But what I'm saying is just remind yourself to use hard materials when you need strong cover. With that being said, that's gonna be it for the five deadly mistakes you're making in fights. Let's quickly do a recap of all the mistakes that we've discussed and just see how we can fix them. All right, first up, we've got a super common one, which is being too passive. Being too passive, man, in fights gives your opponent not only a mechanical advantage, but a mental advantage. Whenever possible, try to avoid giving your opponent all the momentum and all the control over the fight, or else you might be putting yourself in a tough situation. The second mistake that most players make, and probably the one that you, yes, you, yeah, with the hat on, um, <laughs> you guys are mostly making is taking 50, 50 edits that really just give you no advantage, right? Fortnite is all about angles and peaks. Angles and peaks, really it is, man. Like, and you really have to just think before making an edit. At, and you have to also think about, you know, what position, you know, is gonna both put you and your opponent in. Try to avoid editing yourself into a disadvantage in fights if you have the option not to. Another big mistake is not covering yourself from third parties when you fight. Even two or three quick walls before you pressure an opponent can be the difference between you surviving or going down. All right, our fourth mistake is slightly less common among experienced players, but it is still definitely, definitely important, and it's forgetting the hill. Like whenever you get damaged heavily or just generally or just low in HP, you should be focusing on the healing instead of W King. Heal up guys, heal up, heal up, and then you're gonna be in the game. And the final mistake on this list is definitely the one that is honestly most common. And it's using weak materials when you're being pressured or trying to heal. It's a super quick fix. And honestly, getting out of this habit will be incredibly helpful to you, especially if you like to W key and push for kill. So try to do this ASAP. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Make sure to drop a like if you guys enjoyed this. 
and be sure to join the Bunch of Crunch army by hitting that subscribe button to help me and the rest of the Pro Guys team on the road to 1 million subscribers. Also, make sure to check us out at ProGuys.com for our top tier courses. If you want to connect with me personally, hit me up at Your Motivation Guy. We'll see you soon. Keep eating that Bunch of Crunch and let's get this going.